In this video, I'm going to be taking you around Glen Allen, Virginia on the map. That way you can get an idea of its orientation to downtown Richmond and other important landmarks like the airport. Glen Allen is a growing suburb of Richmond and it's located in Henrico County, just west of the city. You can also take another look at a neighborhood tour that I did of Glen Allen, which will help put things a little bit into perspective. And you can check that out after you watch this video. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time at a channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Richmond, Virginia and the surrounding counties of Hanover and Rico, Chesterfield, New Kent, Goochland, Powhatan, then subscribe below and tap the notifications bell so you can be the first to know about the market in Richmond, Virginia. My name's Scott Dernley with Joiner Fine Properties. My team and I get calls from people like you every single day looking for help making their move to Richmond, Virginia, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All of that information is right below so we can help you make a smooth move to Richmond, Virginia. So right now let's go hop onto my computer and uh, I'll start, we'll get on the map and I will show you the Glen Allen area and all it has to offer. All right, let's take a look. All right, we have hopped onto my computer and we're gonna take a look at Glen Allen, Virginia. So let's just look at an overall map. Where is Glen Allen? So here right in the middle, we have the city of Richmond. And then as we come out, you'll see Glen Allen right out this way. Uh, like I said before, it is just up 60, I-64. It is uh, going to be west of Richmond, Virginia. So it is a nice growing suburb of Richmond in Henrico County. All right, let's kind of zoom in on Glen Allen, now that we have an idea of where it is. Um, Glen Allen really is going to encompass two zip codes, 23059 and 23060. So if you're ever kind of searching uh, Glen Allen by zip code, those are the two you want to use. Where it has Glen Allen here on the map currently, uh, this is more the 23060. Uh, zip code 23059 is actually up here by short pump um, so it it Glen Allen is not just here but it's also over this way I'm actually gonna jump on Zillow real quick uh, they've kind of done a pretty good outline of defining uh, Glen Allen so this is where you saw it on the Google map Glen Allen but then all of this area here is also Glen Allen so again, your 23059 zip codes are more up here. Your 23060 zip codes are more on this side. So let's hop back to Google Maps. All right, so if you live in Glen Allen and, I, and if you worked downtown, how would I get downtown? Uh, the most simple answer is you will most likely just find your way uh, there's many, many ways in here to get to Interstate 64, um, depending on where you live. And you would just take 64 right on the downtown. Uh, so that would be how you would get to downtown. Uh, that commute is most likely going to be, um, you know, I'm going to say 20 to 30 minutes. That can depend on traffic. It can depend on uh, and traffic is a lot dependent on um, time of day when you're going. You know, your morning commute is going to be the thickest. Uh, you are likely going to hit a few bottlenecks uh, as you get closer to the city. And uh, you know that could take a little more time. But again, I always talk about Richmond traffic is overall pretty light um, you know it's still frustrating but if you're coming from northern virginia or really any other big city um, gosh atlanta you know you name it charlotte uh you will just laugh at our traffic although uh, you know us uh, native richmonders find it frustrating people from you know other parts uh just see what we talk about congestion and they think is a joke it's really not all that bad um 
So working downtown, that's the way we go. Uh, if you're looking to get to the airport, that is also simple. Anywhere you live in this Glen Allen area, to get to the airport, you're gonna to wanna to make your way to 295 and you would just follow 295 south until you get to this nice little airport exit right here, which is 156 and bada bing it takes you right to the airport right here so that is very very easy from glen allen so uh as far as things like shopping in glen allen um your main artery for shopping is really going to be especially if you live up here in the 23059 zip code and i've mentioned this many many times before it's going to be the short pump town center right here uh, this is the premier mall in all of the richmond area and it's going to have literally everything you would ever want um, as far as shopping goes we've got two major department stores um, that sort of anchor it on either end then you've got your you know orvis you've got your pottery barn you've got crate and barrel you've got the apple store um gosh peloton if you're you know, into the in the riding bikes and fitness um gosh so many clothing stores uh it's hard to really name them all um ll bean that's actually one of my favorites uh the ll bean store you've got dick sporting goods um but look I'm telling you, I can't. You've got several great jewelry stores. You've got Finks, you've got Schwarzschild. Um, just so many options there. Also, tons of great dining options there at the mall. A um, couple of my favorites are Texas Day Brazil, the Brazilian style steakhouse. It's fantastic. Um, if you've never eaten at a Brazilian style steakhouse, they bring it right to your table and carve it. You really need to give it a shot. It is pretty darn cool. Um, you've got Firebird's uh, Wood Fired Grill, another great place for steaks. Um, California Pizza Kitchen, um, the Cheesecake Factory. Uh, talk about a diverse menu. The Cheesecake Factory looks like a darn encyclopedia. It's so thick. Um, gosh, what else? Maggiano's Little Italy. That is another one of my favorites. There's just tons of great dining options there. Um, and then you have this entire... I've said this before, this entire area here on Broad Street, if you follow the mouse, um, if you go from 288 to um, back to 64, this about three mile stretch of Broad Street is going to have so, so many um, shops and restaurants. Uh, there'll be just about everything you need uh, in that area. Yeah, as we get farther out here, uh, Cabela's, one of my favorite shopping areas, Wegmans, really high-end grocery store. Um, over this way, you've got the Mellow Mushroom. Uh, one of my favorite interesting places is Wong's Tacos. That's Asian Mexican fusion. Talk about an interesting idea here. Um, right across we have it was just on here west coast provisions is really great seafood and things and then red salt sushi and steakhouse that's always been one of my favorites and then mellow mushroom that's a great great spot then we are starting to have a bunch of these uh discount grocery stores in richmond we have lots we have Lytles, we have all these uh those are a great option for um you know lower price groceries so uh got that right there so i'm going to zoom back out here again as you can see there's just restaurants galore uh we've got vietnamese we've got mexican again can pie japanese steak and sushi that is uh really cool where they cook it right at your table uh, neat concept there that's kind of fun to do uh oh cooper's hawk winery uh, that is a really neat restaurant, Cooper's Hawk. Um, obviously, they have a great wine selection, or uh, you know, they wouldn't be a great winery, would they? Uh, then you Kroger Grocery Store. Uh, we have some great Kroger restaurants. And then as we keep coming a little bit uh, east down Broad Street, and again, Glen Allen is all sort of right above us right here. I've, I've kind of zoomed in on a shopping um, uh, area here. Um, 
so yeah we, we are kind of in uh short pump but short there is some crossover between short pump and glen allen um they, there really is um yeah world of beer for you for you beer lovers uh peter chang's is a very high-end chinese restaurant uh excellent stuff there so really in i'm gonna zoom back out in this short pump area right around the short pump town center and again remember glen allen's not just here it's this entire area including 23059 you've got many many shopping uh locations now if you're living if you're over in the 23060 area if you're down this way um there's a section of town called midtown if you uh come down staples mill uh, which is route 33 and then you come over 64 it's right in here uh th these are the shops at midtown this restaurant here shag bark is very high end a very nice restaurant um i highly recommend this it is a little on the pricey side so you need to uh you know maybe just go there it's called the southern restaurant and that's pretty accurate um but i'd call it more of an occasion place but uh super good um and as i zoom in we're gonna see it's not doing a great job of showing all the different shops and things but right here at midtown um uh, that's a that's a shopping area and then if you came a little farther this way you have willow lawn uh, willow lawn is another good shopping area you see we've got dick sporting goods um it's not showing me uh everything i want to see but right in here the willow lawn shops are good shopping and that is probably going to be a little bit closer to the people that are in this 23060 zip code 23059 definitely going to be hitting the short pump area as will the folks in 23060 because all you have to do is get right on 295 and you're here in the short pump in a matter of minutes so that kind of covers uh you know some shopping some dining some grocery stores uh really anywhere along here it is not a food desert whatsoever there are plenty of grocery stores if we kind of zoom in the Crossridge, we have a nice Publix right here off of uh, 33. Um, there's also two really good restaurants in here. I'm gonna see if they pop up if I keep going. Ah, yes, here they are. Little Szechuan, fantastic Chinese food, and Little Angela's, fantastic Italian food. Um, so for those of, of you that are in 23060 right off of Staples Mill, those are two really good places to go. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about golf. If you're a golfer, we've got some different options. If you are wanting to join a golf club, there is the Dominion Club here at Wyndham. That, uh, I'm going to go right to there. Uh, that is a members only course they have a tournament there every year it's one of the lower pro tournaments might might be the nike tour um but this course is gorgeous um that area is gorgeous this is it within the wyndham subdivision so if you're looking to join a golf club i would i can definitely recommend the dominion club um they have a great um uh clubhouse if you want to call it that with restaurants um, a lot of wedding receptions happen here that's very nice um if you want to go a little farther out um 33 you have the federal club um again this is a gorgeous course and honestly there's probably not as many members here at the federal club as there are at dominion so if you went a little farther out you are probably going to find it easier to get a tea time less people on the course but this is just a very nice golf course again this is a members course so you have to be a member um, so just remember that um, then as we get in back into if you just want to go to a nice public course there's a hunting hawk and I'm going to try to find that. That's right here. Hunting Hawk, which is off of Pouncy Tract Road. Um, that is not too far from Wyndham. Um, so Hunting Hawk is great. 
And then there is the crossings, uh, which is, let's see, sometimes when you're zooming around these maps, you can hide stuff from yourself. Um, my apologies for not being able to find it. That's another nice public course. So those are a few golfing options if that's what you're into. Uh, now schools. Schools for Glen Allen are pretty darn good. Pretty much anywhere in this western part of Henrico County. Um, when I say western part, it, out here, Henrico County kind of bends around Richmond and goes all the way out here. So this would be more eastern Henrico, and this is western Henrico. The schools in the western part tend to be better. Again, this is general comments. Uh, not that there aren't good schools in the eastern end, but overall, these tend to be a little bit higher rated. So I do always, always, always uh, recommend going to some of these school rating websites. So let's hop over to greatschools.org. Um, we'll concentrate mainly on high school. Uh, there's just a lot less high schools. If you if you drill down the middle schools, we'd be, or I'm sorry, uh, elementary schools, there's so many more. Uh, but high school, if you live in Glen Allen, there's a darn good chance you'll be going to Glen Allen High School. Uh, as you can see, this one here on uh, greatschools.org is very well rated. Uh, then if you pop over to niche.com, Glen Allen High School, again, is very well rated. It's got an overall grade of an A on niche.com. We've got 2,044 students and a student teacher, teacher ratio of uh, 21 to 1. So again, if you want to drill down on schools, I highly recommend these two websites. Um, if you are in Glen Allen, uh, while well, Glen Allen High School, is, you're, there's a good chance you'd be going there, especially if you're in the 23060 zip code. But if you're in 23059, you may also be going to Deep Run High School. Uh, we've covered Deep Run in some other videos, but Deep Run is also very, very well rated. Um, so again, I'm just gonna concentrate on the high schools here, but you know, you can clearly click on middle school here. We could swap over to middle school. We could go to elementary by checking these two different boxes. And the same thing with the filters here on greatschools.org. We can drill down on middle school and elementary schools. Uh, but I do think you will uh, like what you find, uh, but definitely uh, go to these on your own and see what you think about schools. All right, so we're gonna jump over to this uh, nice little stats um, called InfoSparks. So again, our two zip codes for Glen Allen, 23060-23059. If you look at our entire MLS, our average, these are sales for May, uh, $370,000. But if you go over to Glen Allen, we're gonna be a little bit over the curve here, especially in 23059. Uh, 23060, uh, we were at 410 was your average sale. And, and we jump all the way up to 600,000 for 23059. But remember, that is because 23059, although it's still Glen Allen, um, it's really hitting on the out, you know, it's where there's some crossover with short bump here. Um, so that is why that is going to be a little more than 23060. Um, let's try to get back to where I was. So just something to consider there. Um, in the 23060, you are going to find more options in that, say, $300,000, $400,000 range, a lot more options. And that is um, unfortunately getting harder to find in this Richmond area. Um, so if you just look at straight up homes for sale, um, if we go down to May uh, of 2023, uh, homes for sale, we had. Um, 55 and 23060 and we had 70 and 23059 uh, days on market again they're going fast it is still a seller's market things have cooled down a little bit prices pressure has maybe come there's a little pr you know prices are still increasing but not nearly at the rate they were before um, 
But even with a little bit of this downward pressure and with higher interest rates, things are selling fast. You can see five, six days on average. Um, again, we're going to see percent list price. Things are selling for not a lot of price concessions. Things are selling at list price. And then dollar per square foot. Again, this would make sense. Your uh, entire MLS, your dollar per square foot in May was $204. Um, 23060, we're going to jump up to 214. And then again, as we kind of get closer to short pump, we're going to go up to even all the way up to $226 as your average price per foot. So those are some stats for you. Uh, let's jump back here to uh, Zillow and we'll kind of try to put this in a little more context as far as um, some actual homes. So, um, sorry about that. We're gonna, so we're gonna start over in 23060 and sort of make our way over closer to short pump. Just hopping around and taking a look at some of these uh, homes. Again, we have you know, some 285, we have 375. That's a four bedroom, three bath, 1600 uh, square feet. Again, we're at River Mill. We've got some new home subdivisions out here, River Mill being one of them. All right, 1.4 million, a million. We do have some higher priced homes. Again, there's some townhouses. Here's a $385,000 townhome. Get another townhome. Here's a detached home, $525,000, three bedrooms, three baths, 2,500 square feet. So you can see in general, the inventory right now is pretty darn, there's not a ton of stuff on the market at the moment. Uh, here's a nice single family home. Again, we're hitting the price point below three, $400,000. Three bedrooms, three baths, actually that's two and a half baths, uh, 2,235 square feet. There are gonna be more of that sub 400 options here in 230. 60. Here's one just over 400. Oh, this one's actually new construction. That's nice to see some new construction around that $400,000 price point. And then as we sort of travel over to this more Wyndham area, again, we're going to see more of these million dollar plus. They're kind of popping up all over the place and then more 700s. But here we do have a nice $460,000 uh, for, for a ranch. Uh, again, two bedroom, one bath, 1,700 square feet. Now, so that's actually a pretty pricey, uh, you know, uh, pretty pretty good price tag. But look at that, this estimate says it's actually uh, underpriced. So that's one thing about these estimates, you always gotta take them with a grain of salt. I don't always believe them, but let's hop back out into Zillow and just kind of come around here. Got 600,000, that looks like it's a, probably a new home that's to be built. Again, we have some new homes out here. Uh, we are gonna have some new construction, Bacova, that's new construction. 14 new homes in the point at Trent Twin Hickory. Um, here we have a very nice looking uh, town home. That's an end unit for 580. So again, this is just giving you a little bit of a flavor uh, for what's out there on Zillow as far as uh, these two zip codes go. All right, well, I think we're kind of, we're just gonna jump back to the map here. Again, that concludes our map video of Glen Allen, Virginia. Hopefully you got a good perspective on where Glen Allen sits in relationship to you know the rest of the metro uh, Richmond area. Again, I always say uh, 295 will draw a circle around Richmond to the east. And then, although it doesn't exactly connect, if you came over to 288, that will kind of form your circle around Richmond to the west. And then the greater Richmond area is sort of in, you know, this is general again, is sort of in between this circle. And you can see Glen Allen is sort of on the top of this circle, right off of one of our, you know, sort of one of our beltways here. So it really does make it convenient to, uh, you know, hop on 
uh, here or hop on Interstate 64 and get to pretty much anywhere you need to go. Um, obviously, if you're going north to DC, very easy to get here on 95. So, um, and then if you're headed down to the beach, it's, it is the summertime. If you're headed to the beach, just hop on 64 East and come on down and, uh, you know, you'll be in Nag, you'll be in Virginia Beach really fast. And then if you want to go a little further, you'll be in Nags Head. Uh, Williamsburg is only uh, about a little over an hour away from us here in Richmond. So, you know, lots of stuff you can get to uh, from Richmond. If you're coming out 64, you want to come up to the Charlottesville area. That is just a little over an hour, kind of the same amount of, as, as Williamsburg, just going in the opposite direction. Um, you know, Charlottesville is the home of the University of Virginia and just several, um, it's really wine country. Virginia wine country is all centered around Charlottesville. So there's some amazing things to do there. Some very, very pretty, pretty, pretty country and horse farms and things in Charlottesville. All right, so that's gonna wrap up our video here of looking at um, uh, Glen Allen on the map. We're gonna head on uh, out of the computer and wrap this thing up. All right, well, that's it for our map tour of Glen Allen. I hope you enjoyed it. Glen Allen really is a great place to live. Um, being right west of the city, it's a great suburb, it's growing, you've got good schools, you've got a good convenient location, uh, so much about Glen Allen there is to love. Um, also, you do have a few more lower priced home options. By lower price, I don't mean like super low, but you can find things in that three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar range. Um, you know, for a night for a single family home, that you're probably just not going to find that price range when you get in the say like short, you know, right in the short pump. Um, so that's a nice benefit of Glen Allen, and there are parts of Glen Allen that still has that sort of you know hometown um, you know country feel which would be like parts out mountain road near the Glen Allen Cultural Arts Center and um, you know by the Virginia Cliff Inn it's just got a nice you know sort of small town feel in a lot of Glen Allen so if folks are looking for that you know it's a great option so well that's it and remember if you're moving in nine days or 90 days give us a call shoot us a text send us an email all of that information it's right below. And until then, I hope to show you around town. Take care.